Now, with any within any business, there are people who are interested um, of how the business is going to operate. Okay, and these can be things like people like owners, employees, suppliers, local community, customers, the government. Okay. Um, yeah, so there's a list there, competitors as well, people who lend money to the business, okay? And these are all going to have an interest in how the business is, is going and how it's performing, okay? Okay, so can you think of any stakeholders in Flindlice High School? Uh, obviously, you're just watching this now, so um, you can sort of think about that just for 10 seconds. Okay, so they can, the ones would be the governors of the school, county council, the competitors like Neaton High School, okay, a local community, uh, the parents of the school, the non-teaching staff, the teachers, the students. These all have an interest in how well Flanders High School is performing and how well it's doing, okay, and how well it's being run. Now, how can stakeholders influence um, a business? Okay, well, they can do a lot of different things. Okay, so let's say, for example, that um, the teaching staff in those high school want to uh, have um, better pay. Well, we can negotiate with the school and see if we can um, get better pay conditions for ourselves. Okay, um, direct action. Okay, um, so these can be things like consumer boycotts. Okay, so if you're not happy with how, what the business is doing, you can choose not to buy them. Okay, um, or employees can go on strike. That is also an example of direct uh, action. All right. Um, refusal to cooperate, okay. Um, employees can maybe resist any changes that the owners want to make, okay. Or um, local council could um, deny Thinlice High School's request to relay the red graph, for example, something along those lines, okay. Um, and the final one is uh, voting, okay. So um, some businesses you can you can uh, vote to. Uh, make your views a little bit clearer from what the business should do, okay? This is particularly prevalent if your business is run by a group of partners of maybe four to five people. Well, you'll have a vote and then you can influence um, the decisions within your particular business, okay? So how should you sort of try and communicate with stakeholders as maybe the um, owners with it? Well, there are various ways. How do you keep, inform keep them informed? Do you do a few newsletters, face-to-face -face meetings and so on? Okay. Do you, do you need to involve different stakeholders in the decisions that you're making? Okay. Do you need to hold meetings that they can raise their point of view? Okay. Or do you just sort of select um, maybe a group from your employees to represent yourself, a group from the local community to represent the local community and so on? Okay. So, um, I thought I'd just give you a quick example of how business decisions impact the different stakeholders. So this is um, building a new airport. So that's going to be really good for some people because it's going to create jobs, um, help trade in the UK businesses, help tourists travel to your place more easily, and it's going to create tax uh, for the government. Okay, and also hopefully people will be in work, so you won't have to pay them benefits. Okay, however. There's going to be also a negative impact of any decision, really. Okay, there's going to be more noise and pollution. Uh, people are forced to move away, and um, congestion is created by people coming to the airport. Okay, so with everything, every decision that a business makes is going to be people who benefit from it, and the people who are going to be negatively impacted by it. Okay, right. So if we look at these group of stakeholders here okay they're going to have various points of view of how they want the school to run okay um, so for example teachers are going to probably want to get paid more okay parents are going to probably want there to be smaller classes so um, your child gets a bit more uh, attention okay um, but then if you look at the Paris County Council and governors, they're going to be maybe against that because that's going to just push up the cost of the school. Okay. Uh, so that creates conflicts, essentially, sort of, because there is any decision a business makes, there is a positive and a negative impact. Okay. It positive impacts some people and negatively impacts others. 